Scientists have been trying for a long time to figure out what dark matter is. It makes up 80% of the universe's mass, but we can't see it. A new idea from MIT suggests that we might find it by looking at a small wobble in Mars orbit. This wobble could be caused by tiny black holes formed right after the Big Bang that occasionally pass through our solar system and nudge Mars just a little. With today's technology, even these tiny changes could be measured down to just 10 centimeters, offering evidence of these elusive black holes and, by extension, dark matter itself. In this video, we'll explore this exciting theory and its potential to reshape our understanding of the universe. Mars, unlike Earth or the Moon, experiences less interference from other gravitational forces, making its orbit more stable and ideal for detecting subtle shifts. According to the MIT team, if a primordial black hole passed within a few hundred million miles of Mars, it could cause a slight shift in the planet's orbit, about one meter over several years. While this change is small compared to Mars's total orbit, it is significant enough to be picked up by today's high-precision instruments. This wobble, a potential gravitational signal, could indicate the presence of primordial black holes, which are undetectable by conventional methods since they emit no light. However, NASA's Mars rovers and satellites continuously monitor the planet's position with precision, making them capable of detecting even the smallest orbital shifts. Moreover, this method of detection moves away from the decades-long focus on finding dark matter particles. For years, physicists have been trying to detect exotic particles that make up dark matter through particle decays and other indirect means. But these searches have largely come up empty. Of course, detecting the wobble is just the beginning. Even if a wobble is observed, distinguishing between a wobble caused by a primordial black hole and one caused by other celestial objects, like asteroids, remains a challenge. However, astronomers have been tracking space rocks for decades, and they have enough data to differentiate between the typical paths of asteroids and the gravitational effects expected from primordial black holes. Primordial black holes are thought to have formed in the very first moments after the Big Bang, during a period when the universe was extremely hot and dense. Unlike stellar black holes, which form from the collapse of massive dying stars, primordial black holes are believed to have originated from the collapse of extremely dense pockets of gas in the early universe. Despite their small size, some could be as tiny as an atom, they can carry the mass of a large asteroid. This extraordinary density allows them to exert strong gravitational forces, influencing nearby celestial bodies, even though they are invisible to the naked eye. The theory of primordial black holes was first proposed in the 1970s as a possible explanation for dark matter, but for a long time, it was overshadowed by other theories. The leading hypothesis suggested that dark matter was made up of exotic particles, such as WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles, which don't interact with light and are thus difficult to detect. Scientists built large detectors on Earth in an attempt to observe these particles as they scattered or decayed. However, after decades of research, these searches have come up empty, prompting renewed interest in alternative explanations like primordial black holes. Unlike particles, these black holes interact gravitationally with their surroundings, meaning their presence can be inferred through their influence on nearby objects. MIT's team, led by physicist David Kaiser, created a simulation of the solar system, modeling various scenarios in which asteroid-sized primordial black holes pass through the solar system at high speeds, which are about 150 miles per second. The simulation predicted that such a black hole could cause Mars' orbit to wobble by about one meter, a movement small enough to avoid major planetary disruption, but large enough to be detected by today's technology. One of the most significant breakthroughs in modern astrophysics occurred in 2015, when the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory made the first-ever detection of gravitational waves. 
These ripples in space-time are created by the acceleration of massive objects like black holes or neutron stars, and their detection confirmed a key prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity. The concept of using Mars orbital wobble to detect primordial black holes aligns with a broader trend in astronomy, where scientists are increasingly relying on gravitational effects to uncover hidden phenomena. Instead of searching for light or particles, these methods focus on how gravity itself reveals the presence of unseen objects, such as primordial black holes. In parallel, researchers are exploring ways to enhance gravitational wave observatories, like LIGO and Virgo, to detect smaller and subtler gravitational signals, such as those produced by primordial black holes. Although this research is still in its early stages, it represents a growing role for gravitational astronomy in solving some of the universe's deepest mysteries, including the nature of dark matter. Moreover, scientists believe primordial black holes may leave other detectable signatures, such as in the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the radiation left over from the Big Bang. If these black holes existed in the early universe, their gravitational effects could have subtly influenced the distribution of radiation in the CMB, creating patterns that might still be observable today. This highlights the importance of gravitational studies not only in detecting dark matter, but also in uncovering clues about the universe's origins. Thank you for watching. If primordial black holes can be detected, they may unlock the dark matter mystery and reveal new insights into the universe's early history. Stay tuned for more discoveries as we continue exploring the cosmos.